Hey, Bill here. October 4th, 5.41 p.m. So, I've been doing some work this afternoon. I uh, trimmed the, uh, the curb because uh, it had the, uh, the curdy cloth and the mortar added thickness, so I trimmed that. I trimmed the shower pan that's underneath the curdy cloth, and I cut the curdy cloth for the pan, and I've marked it using this uh, cardboard template. I've marked it where the, I'm going to cut the hole for the drain piece. You cut the uh, cut the cloth for the pan a quarter inch short in each dimension. So it uh, so I cut it a half inch uh, short on each side on each axis, axis, and uh, so you got about a quarter inch. And I think they said it's a quarter inch on each side, or maybe it's a half. If so, I just cut more. So and uh, so now I'm going to take this up and go downstairs and cut the hole out. I've cut the cloth for this wall, a piece here, a piece there all the way to the top, a piece from there to there, and a piece from, sorry, right there over. So, and for this piece I cut the holes out, got them pretty close, and cut the hole for that. The pieces have been test fitted and they're ready to go for tomorrow. Um, I also cut one meter tall piece of fabric across. We can put that up, but I'm not sure. I haven't decided where the tiles are going to go, how high on this wall the tiles are going to go. I mean, they could go, well, I mean, they could go to the ceiling. It's just a question of, you know, putting the shower or in the towel racks, you know, drilling into ceramic tile and using uh, mollies, or if we have the tile stop about here, somewhere in this neighborhood, you know, you just you can go through drywall or just sand and paint this or wallpaper it. But it definitely be it'll be tiled from here to there, somewhere up there. So I have to figure that out. I mean, I really don't have to put curdy cloth on this wall underneath the tile, but I have extra. I definitely wanted to put curdy cloth. Some would think this is a waste of money, even time, but um, put the curdy cloth here because it acts as a vapor barrier for the insulation. So that saved me a step on having to get plastic and screw, you know, staple it and do all the tuck tape and all that stuff. So at least I helped out, on, you know, on that. I'm not going to screw off royally in the future with that, but so there's the curb. It's got a bit of a gap so you can get mortar in between, you know, and if I need a little bit more, it might even be too short. I might need to cut a little bit more, so you, know, you can always cut more, but you can't add back. And then I've also cut a lot of the, uh, they have the curdy band, which is half, in, ha they have, it's five inch wide uh, band of cloth that's half inch, half the thickness of this guy, the wall cloth, so you use it for the seam so you got I got enough band for this that's already cut I got to cut another equal amount for here and then uh, we also you know we do the, the pre-made um, curdy band with the gasket for this guy and this guy and this is a whole different story this is very serious there uh, but that's it and uh, so that's what's going on today so I'm going to keep trying and just cutting pre-cutting everything labeling them you know writing with uh, sharpie you know writing what they are, you know, uh, V upper, I guess that stood for valve, shower valve, valve upper, and down there it says valve lower, so, yeah, that's it, we're going to do tiles up to the top, and uh, I'm going to rent a, a really nice uh, tile saw for like 250 bucks for the week, so we can, you know, do the cuts, so, that means you know you gotta work prana. You gotta start at the bottom, and you know get it level, make it meet the, in the corner. We might be using this curdy band, this metal band that goes designed to go in the inside and outside corners to uh, dress it up, and also to e ease installation. Installation. It's a uh, stainless steel, so provides a quarter inch, a quarter round um, bump out, and you know it's stainless, so it looks nice. So you can also get the band for the corners. And then there's, you know, there's this. So, uh, well, even with this nice saw, if I run, I have to over, if I go over into two weeks, it's still a lot less than buying it. So, 
It's a lot less meat for me doing it than having the pros come and do it. So that's it for me today. All right, I'll see you later.